Hey guys, just wanted to make a really quick video to show you how to adjust your pinion properly on the Emax brushless 3908. Um, if you're noticing any type of slippage or if you're noticing your truck doesn't wheelie uh, like it used to, here's what you do. You simply take this cover off. It's one screw. Pops right off of the back of the engine. Okay, so really quick for people who don't know, because I didn't know until today, this is a spur. That's the engine gear, and that's a pinion, okay? And what you do is, you take the little tool that was provided to you, put it over the engine gear, and tighten it while you hold this gear here. Tighten it until you can't really tighten it anymore. And then what you want to do is loosen it a half a turn, okay? And that'll get you back to uh, full traction from your engine. Um, you know, I, I'm new to all this, so I just kind of had to learn it myself. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, Emacs brushless, and that is the RPM shock tower. I have the front one coming. I have front RPM arms coming in the mail. I also have the rear True Track RPM arms coming, which the guy really recommended. And I have a set of uh, two LiPo batteries coming. Um, cost me like a hundred bucks a piece but it's the ones Castle uh, recommended for this engine, which is amazing. This truck is unbelievable. I'm so happy with it. But um, yeah, I also got like this new charger here today. Which is pretty cool, it was like 150 bucks. But only does one battery at a time, but the other one that does two was like 350 for LiPos. But um, can't complain with this one, it comes with like a cool case. I got like my little work box set up with all my parts and stuff. So this is like my work room here in my house. Sorry about the rat. It's my girlfriend's or my I should say fiance's at this point. But um alright, sweet. So that's it, okay? So you got spur gear, engine gear, pinion. Pinion's the one that tightens it up, okay? Alright.